kids grow up, Mr. Michael Davis, kids grow up. Kids say the darndest things. Remember that show, the Art Link Letter, many years ago? He had a variety show, and at the end of his show, he would put little kids on the stage, and he would interview them. And they said the funniest things. Bill Cosby revised, revived that whole thing years later. But I got news for you today. Those kids grow up. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Those kids grow up. And let me tell you, they might have been cute way back when, but if you don't add a good dose of education, some common sense, and a little humbleness, cute can evolve to stupid real quick. <laughs> Let me give you a few examples. I used to own a mail and parcel center. You know, the kind of place where you go and ship packages. And one year, I had, right when I started out, I had this lady come in, and she wanted to buy a manila envelope. I said, well, they're 69 cents. Oh, no, you're too high. The post office has them for 39 cents. And, of course, me being a customer service expert, well, I'm sorry, ma'am, thank you, but maybe you want to go buy it at the post office. Oh, no, they don't have it. <laughs> well, I've got them. I've got one right here. They're 69 cents. No, sir, you're too high. The post office has them for 39 cents. Maybe you want to go to the post office? They don't have any. <laughs> we went back and forth like this for a good 10 minutes. The line is getting longer behind her. She finally says, sir, you don't understand. The post office has them for 39 cents. I said, I do understand. If I didn't have any, I'd give them to you for free. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can always tell which of these kids grew up without any discipline in their household because they think they can get away with anything. Primary example, go right down here to Firestone by the 605 freeway. If you're going eastbound on Firestone and you want to get on the southbound 605, there are two huge signs there that say, no turn on red. I think we all know what that means, don't we? Yet every day, I see people pull up to that sign, to the red light, they look at the sign, they look at the traffic, they look at the sign, look, and they turn on red. Nobody's going to catch them, right? They don't care. I gave you another example of these people. Maybe you can help me. I got a little test for you today. Somebody spell spot. P -I -T. Somebody spell tots. Q -P -S. Somebody spell pots. P -O -T -S. Quick, what do you do when you get to a green light? Stop. Uh, we have some of those kids in this audience here. <laughs> okay? And those are the people I'm talking about. I'm sitting in a light and there's a car in front of me. The light is green and the car's still sitting there. It doesn't get any greener. There's only one shade. <laughs> Finally, they take off and they go. And then there's the opposite one, right? You're sitting and looking at a green light. You're waiting to go, but the people making left turns are still making left turns. I know they've got a red light, right? And the first guy, you don't mind, right? First guy comes through. He was in the intersection. Second one, maybe. Third, fourth. Do they have a chain attached to their car? they got a big train going through there. Gee, many Christmas. And then, okay. Some of these kids work as politicians in Sacramento. Let's figure this one out. Which is more dangerous, this while we're driving or this while we're driving? It took us a year to figure that one out. All right. All these people, they're, they've got their problems, right? And it affects mostly them. And I can tolerate it. I'll laugh a little bit or get mad whatever day it is. But when they step over the line, that's where I draw it big time. When they make me feel stupid, when they come in and look at me like I'm as stupid as they are, that's it. We're not going any further. Let's go back to my mail and parcel center. We would have customers, as does every mail and parcel center, as does the post office, we would have certain customers come in shipping certain packages with stuff that they shouldn't be shipping. <laughs> Drugs! And these people are so obvious, it's not even funny. They were so obvious that the district attorney put out a whole sheet of things to watch out for when they're coming in. Their package is wrapped in heavy brown paper. They use a whole roll of tape on one little package. 
I've got five empty parking places in front of my store, but they parked halfway down the block, so I don't see their license plate. <laughs> and then they spend about $100 to send some little package to anybody overnight. They don't want it to be in the system very long, right? So you see them coming a mile away. And I always have fun with them. Well, gee, what are you shipping today? I didn't know. <laughs> this one lady came in one time, and she bought two boxes from us, 18 by 18 by 4. Both boxes the same size. Took them home or wherever she was going, and came back a little while later to ship these boxes. 18 by 18 by 4. One had a return address of a residence. The other one had a return address of an auto parts store. She wanted next day air. And I thought, I can't resist. What are you shipping today? <laughs> the one that was from the residence, that was clothing. The one from the auto parts store was auto parts. 18 by 18 by 4, same size box, same identical weight on the scale. <laughs> Going to the same address. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do they believe we don't know what's going on? I felt like taking something and just whapping her upside the head with it. <laughs> you know, they're making me feel stupid now. It's insulting my integrity. Yeah, I might have been one of those kids way back when, but I learned what I had to do. I grew up at least a little bit. Now, some people might argue with that one. <laughs> but I grew up at least a little bit. Keep in mind, those little kids that were so cute, way back when, if you don't have some education, some common sense, and a little bit of humbleness, that cute grows into stupidity really quick. But right now, the red light is about ready to come on, and you know what that means. It's time for me to go, Mr. Toastmaster.